day two hits Hotel 2019, and it is on and popping here at the Clevelander, hanging out with a legend in the DJ game. I'm talking about MK. Welcome to South yeah. FLA. Yeah. We were joking. I was saying you are clearly no stranger yeah, to yeah, Miami yeah, Music yeah. Week, yeah. Uh, quote unquote, Winter Music Conference, yeah, yeah. as it was originally called. Yeah. Um, talk to me a little bit about your experience this year and, and what you've got going on. Well, this year, I got, I got in on Wednesday. And I played uh, at my party yesterday at National. Okay. And then I played David Guetta's party last night also. And then I played Dipple's party after that. <laughs> so it's kind of hectic. And now I'm playing uh, Repop 8 Mars party tonight. Very cool. The Elite Boss. Dipple's playing again at that party. That left. Uh, Claude Von Schultz is playing, I think. Great lineup. Great lineup? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah let's see. I always refer to this as like DJ reunion weekend. Yeah, yeah it is. In Miami. Because it's well, ridiculous. Well, you know why? Yeah, it's because like... Between like December, January, and February, most DJs take off. Because oh, I didn't know. That. Yeah, well, because yeah. you're coming, kind of coming off of like off of season, summer. right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So most DJs like take that day off. I take the month off, and they work on music. So like, when I'm, uh, when a music conference is when I all DJs start again. We all meet up, well, yeah. like, you know, trade music, and it's, it's the start of the whole year. Like, but yeah, I was going to say, it really does feel like it's kind of the kickoff to festival season. It's like start of baseball season. You know, it's like, <laughs> it's like spring training. It's spring training. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, a great yeah. analogy, though. I will be using that moving yeah. forward. Um, and then when I was doing my research, yeah. you have, like, straight up South Florida ties. Like, you may as well consider yourself a yeah, part of the yeah, Miami yeah, family. Yeah. I mean, you well, work well, with Pitbull. Pip, that's my homie, yeah, yeah. So I was working on Pitbull for a few years before I was DJing. Maybe like in 2009. Okay. So I worked there for like three, three or four years. And I kind of started DJing from that point and just kind of branched off. But it's funny because he just like texted me like two weeks ago. Okay. So we're still in touch. So, so I mean, did you not do the remix that was like the foundation for, yeah, he for sampled, Hotel? Like, hotel Room, yeah. I did a, a remix called uh, Push Filling On by Night yep. Dollars. And he sampled it. That, yeah. And uh, that's how we met. Um, but that's kind of like one of those records. Like, I love Pitt, and he's been around forever, and he's yeah, family. Yeah, yeah. But that was like one of those records that he yeah, will yeah. forever yeah, yeah. be known for, like on his journey to becoming well, funny story Mr. Is, Worldwide. Because it's a, it's a remix. So on the remix, I don't own the publishing. Got you. Oh. So, so Pitt, when Pitt sampled it, I reached out to him, and at first he was like, I don't want to talk to MK because he took no, he took 95% of the publishing for that song, for Hotel Room. Oh my God. I'm like, no, I don't have publishing. I don't own any publishing. It was someone else. He was like, oh, what? You didn't have publishing? So that's how we, he was like, oh, my bad. And so we, that's how we met. And then you started working directly with yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty, yeah that's yeah, yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah. Well, hopefully we'll get... Um, something new out of that little yeah, text I mean, from I mean, a couple weeks ago yeah, that'd be fantastic I, th I, think that's why, I think that's why i reached out i mean well first of all you're doing your own thing musically you were yeah. on the chart what for like 36 weeks last year or something like number oh, one 17, oh, no. 17, 17 weeks yeah. at number one but like 30 no, my song 17 but yeah it did, it did pretty well that's it's like it did pretty well yeah <laughs> it sat there for a while bro i mean so what are you working on in 2019 i have a new single coming out next month called okay. body to body okay and so is it are, is there anybody it's, else it's on different. it no it's no just, it's just a male vocal it's a new singer um it's, it's more sexy okay a little bit deeper a little bit slower it's groovy i got it yeah and then are you gonna be like hitting the festivals with it and doing yeah, any yeah, of that yeah, stuff? yeah yeah i was, I was playing my song on my show do you have like a favorite place to play Ibiza. I'm so tired of y'all dropping Ibiza on me. I'm so angry. I'm like, I tried to commit to everybody. Well, no, the first time we ever did this, or one of the first years, Bob Sinclair came through. Yeah, yeah. And he was talking about it. And he was like, and I joked with him. I was like, yo, I'm going to come to Ibiza, and I'm bringing him in. And he was like, this is my email. This is my, hit yeah, me up when you get yeah. there. And it's like, I have to that find that like note. Yeah, you know like what I'm Bob, saying? Yeah. Like, bro, I mean, granted, it's a little bit of a flight for a night out. But, yeah. I mean. Everybody in their mama is like, yeah. yo, Ibiza's where it's at. Yeah. Why? It's a, it's a party island. It's literally just... a party island. <laughs> it's nothing else. Look at his face. He said it with such conviction. No, it's it a is. party island. It's like, no, I don't think you understand what I'm saying right now. Yeah. So, I mean, do you have a best Ibiza moment? Uh -huh. It's like, I don't think no, I want to say, say that. that. Yeah, there well, there you have it. That right there just made <laughs> people book their yeah. flight. Yeah. So you've got the new single dropping next month. Yep. You're going to be out there. You're going to be playing in Ibiza. Yeah. Um, how can we follow along with your journey? Uh, Well, my Insta Instagram is just my name, Mark Kinchin. Okay. And the same as Twitter, so. 
Yeah. Fantastic. And I have to ask, I mean, I feel like DJs have this different vibe for music. When you're playing, yeah. who are people loving right now? Like, when you drop a track, like, who it is depends. the it's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not even the artist anymore. It's just the track now, which is kind of cool. And, and the thing is now, it's like music, as far as dance music, well, I don't know if it's cool, but it, it lasts about three months uh -huh. per, per track. So you have a good wow. track and it lasts three months and it's over. So it's kind of, it's, it's clicky in a way of what you okay. play. As opposed to like, you know. But it must force you to be creative. You've so always got to be, yeah. you know, producing, making new stuff. Looking, yeah. 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 Very cool. Well, MK, we appreciate you stopping by. I know you're a busy guy. You heard his lineup of parties and events. Um, say what's up. Make sure you're following along. I mean, is there anybody that you want to run into while you're down here? Or have you already you've no, I've seen already them all. Seen I've seen them all. Yeah, I've seen them all. I was going to say, you've legit already yeah, played with everybody. Anyway, pause on me for that one. You've already played with everybody. <laughs> oh, wow. And it's only day two. Exactly. You can scratch your, scratch your beard that. on She's that one. Pause, yeah. Anyway. Nice one. MK, appreciate you, Mark Kitchen, everybody. New music on the way, so make sure you're on the lookout for that, all right? It's yep. Hits Hotel.